Car crashes are a leading cause of death for children under 13. That's according to the U.S. Department of Transportation. And now Tampa police are working to change that. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit joining us right now at a free event that is walking parents through the proper steps of installing a car seat. Rebecca, this can be a tricky thing to do. I remember having to do this. That's right. So parents can come out here to the Academy Prep Center to have their car seat inspected for free. TPD is even giving away free car seats to those who qualify. Now, this is the ninth time that the child safety seat event is TPD is holding this year. They'll be checking to see if your car seat is installed properly. They want to make sure the straps of the car seat are tightly secured on your child. They'll also be checking the manufacturing date to make sure the car seat isn't expired or has been recalled. TBD tells me the most common mistake they see is the seat belt from the actual car not being utilized properly. Typically, they kind of just put it on like you would your regular seat belt and they don't fasten it or extend it where it ratchets back and then actually like put your weight in the car seat to get it secure because the car seat to be properly installed can't move more than an inch from left to right or front to back. Last year, TBD received a grant to hold child safety seat community events, but were not able to due to the pandemic. Florida law requires your child to be in a car seat until five years old, and a child should be rear facing up to two years old. And if you're not able to make it out here today, you're able to apply online. We have that information on our website at abcactionnews.com. In Tampa, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.